Hey, what up YouTube? This is Izonk. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my new stream setup. So, only in two months, Rashid is the first DLC character that will be added to the roster of Street Fighter 6. So it is time for me to make my 8th character guide for Street Fighter 5, so you can get a taste if you like this character. Hope you enjoy the guide. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm gonna start off the guide in the neutral position like I always do. This character sets itself apart by having good walk speed, a dash that goes into a run. The run cancels into a safe light mixer to punch or a kick. Heavily unsafe but a good whiff punish. He has a good jump in. He has a V-skill that gives him extra mobility in the air. He has a wall jump and he can roll with his V-skill. He also has a V-skill too we're gonna get to later. Kinda gimmicky but that crosses up. So great mobility and good buttons in neutral. Uh, pretty low risk and low reward is this uh, stand medium kick. Uh, higher risk and higher reward is the crouching heavy punch. Uh, the medium kick is minus 4 on block, but you can space it to be safe. Crouching heavy punch is uh, much slower. It's safe on block, but if it's jumped, he's, uh, he's dead probably. He also has this light mixer as a poke. He has a crouching medium kick as a poke. That's cancelable. Either into a light mixer, that's safe. Or confirmed to a light eagle spike there if you see him standing. So... All in all, in neutral, this character is very swift, very mobile, and he has good buttons to make you pay. Crouching heavy punch, even crush counters there. So, very dangerous character, so what are people gonna do? They're gonna jump at you. He has the crouching medium punch, has a one button anti-air that also gives him Oki if he walks up. And he has the heavy spinning mixer. And the heavy spinning mixer, it doesn't have invincibility, but it has a great hitbox, uh, both in front of him and behind him. So that is a really good anti-air, especially against cross-offs. So here I'm playing against Cody, that's a CPU, an AI that jumps a lot. So you can practice your uh, responses basically, your reactions. And here's that medium kick doing dirty work. Now, uh, Rashid also excels in the pressure department. Uh, he has three buttons that actually tick throw. He has this three-framer, his um, stand light kick. That's plus one on block, but leaves you in throw range. Crouching light punch is plus two on block, also in throw range. And then his stand light punch is plus three on block, also in throw range. So if he's in front of you, it's gonna be a lot of strike throw guessing here. Keep it frame tight here by uh, using multiple lights at once and go into his medium punch. That's five frames, so that's frame tight. So it's very dangerous to press against Rashid. But if you don't press at some point, he's gonna throw you because he is in throw range a lot because the buttons have very little pushback, uh, which is a great sign for a rushdown character. Now the medium punch into the crouching medium kick, that's also frame tight and that hits low. So if you try to walk out of the pressure or back dash out of it, he can clip you with the crouching medium kick. So uh, this makes Rashid really, really good in the fundamental Street Fighter department. Now the crouching medium punch, that is the one that cancels into the EX uh, move there, the EX Eagle Spike allows you to juggle, the crouching medium kick uh, does not do that, so you want to use medium punch to crouching medium punch, but that doesn't have a lot of range, uh, so the medium kick is safer to use and it clips low. A couple of combo ideas, you'll see them later on in the video as well. Now another trick here in neutral is his um, stand heavy punch. This has decent range. Uh, it crush counters like you can see. It cancels into the V skill, cancels into the EX Eagle Spike. So this is a button you're gonna be using as a shimmy here in the corner for instance. And you're gonna use it after uh, the crouching heavy kick is blocked. You're minus two. Uh, but as they say, it's only minus two if you believe it. So if you space it correctly, uh, you can definitely use a stand heavy punch to get a counter hit there. Now, he also has these uh, tornado specials. We'll see more in the special department. Those are a big part of his pressure. He has the light confirm, crouching light kick, crouching light punch into an eagle spike. The crouching medium kick also goes into the eagle spike lights. Crouching medium punch, also light eagle spike. Medium punch can go into a medium eagle. And his heavy buttons go into the heavy eagle spike. That's how the priority system uh, links with the buttons. And I already showed you that his crouching medium punch, his stand medium punch, his heavy punch and crouching heavy punch all cancel into his EX launcher. And that allows you to switch sides and do more damage. 
Now, all of his knockdowns are good, basically. But I just want to demonstrate here that his, uh, his Eagle Spike is very unsafe. You see this used in neutral a lot at lower levels, like even up to Platinum. But you can always, always punish this. This is minus 20, I think. So yeah, never let a Rashid player get away with using that in neutral. Same with the dive kick. It's insanely unsafe. Uh, EX uh, leaves you back a little bit more, but that's also punishable. Also, this dive kick, as you see here, uh, it doesn't give good Oki, right? So this is... This is pretty good to uh, have opponents guessing if they want to anti-air with their button or not, but the reward is pretty low. Uh, he has the three spinning mixers. A light spinning mixer is safe on block at minus two. Uh, medium is very unsafe and heavy is also very unsafe. You can mash them out for more hits and more damage. If you stop halfway, you're going to be plus one, so you can reset them with it. And if you let, them, uh, let it rip, you get a knockdown. Same for the medium spinning mister. This actually whiffs on, on uh, crouchers if you're a little bit further away. But this is the move that's going to allow you to uh, cancel into the CA. And the heavy spinning mixer is something you only use in the corner or after the EX Eagle Spike. Here, yeah, you can see the medium mixer is whiffing. This has the best corner carry out of his uh, enders. And it's the one that goes into the CA, like I told you before, but it whips on uh, Crouchers. So you're gonna be using Eagle Spikes a lot. Light Mixers to be safe, but it's low damage, low risk, low reward. And you get the uh, Eagle Spikes for more damage and also a very good knockdown, but unsafe on block, so you need to confirm. Now he also has these uh, Tornadoes. And these aren't really used in neutral a lot. Sometimes a light one, it has a decent vertical hitbox. But you want to be using the heavy one, because that's the one that cancels into the roll. That's plus on block. And the EX one is also plus on block, especially in the corner. So those are part of his uh, pressure. Let's have a look at his V-System. This is the V-Skill one. This is the one that's used most and the one I recommend. It's very versatile and fits him very well. It uh, cancels from his uh, heavy buttons, especially that combos. And you'll see this being used in shimmies in a corner a lot. You can go into the heavy mixer here. Or the EX mixer. I wouldn't really use this much as an aerial move, maybe to escape the corner. But you can use it in neutral and it goes under fireballs, even under Sagat's low fireball. So it has projectile invincibility. Now here's the V skill too, this is kind of gimmicky to me, but you can use it as a damage extender. Uh, part of the downfall for Rashid is that his damage output isn't great. Um, the good thing here is that if you end with a tornado, you can go into the V skill too and tag on more damage. And uh, if you do an EX here, you get a lot of damage, right? So uh, a simple cross up, which happens pretty easily with this uh, V skill because it's kind of deceptive if you do it from the right range. Uh, you can cross them up and people don't really recognize it. So this hits in front, right, for this damage. But if you do the same thing here with the V-Skill 2, and you cross them up, let me cross them up here. Cross up here. Look at the difference in damage. Going to the Tornado, EX, and to another Spike. It's a lot more damage and you build meter. So I think it's a good V-Skill. I just think that it's V-Skill 1. It's more versatile against more characters in the cast and less gimmicky. Now this is V-Trigger 1. Uh, first of all, you activate this most of the time uh, from a distance. So after you knock somebody down or after you backdash out of the situation. And it puts a huge tornado on the screen that stays there for a long time even after it hits. And uh, this empowers all of his uh, wind specials and all of his uh, moves that go through it. He moves forward a lot. There you go, you can get nice combos there, but the main reason for this is that this is gonna force people into a strike throw mix-up basically, because you can't really escape this. And that puts Rashid into the position that he needs to be in to succeed. Which is throw range, thick throw range. Here you saw it hit, and then the tornado stays on the screen, so that's really good. Ice V Trigger 2, uh, the main advantage of this is that it lets you activate mid-combo, so you can get nice combos like that. 
it grants him access to a new special move called the Habu. And you can use that as a uh, bigger tornado that's also pretty hard to escape. And if you use that from far away, you're going to be plus on block, so he can use it with the V-Skill 1 and roll his way in. It also launches the opponent, so you can get bigger combos. In my opinion, his uh, combos overall are a little bit straightforward. And this V-Trigger allows you to have a little bit more fun. This enhances all of his uh, kick specials. So uh, his EX uh, Eagle Spike, that now goes, um, yeah, let me show you. It now goes through fireballs here. You get a nice combo. His forward medium punch, we'll look into that later here. It's gonna give an extra point of juggle. Let's you juggle now. So it's pretty easy to punish people here for throwing projectiles. You can't throw projectiles against Rashid. I push the Haboob on the screen. If you do it from far away here, you can see I'm plus, plus four in this situation. If you do it from clones range, I'm minus 14 here. You see that? So if you do this from close range, you're going to be minus. Uh, also, all of his tornadoes are now cancelable into the roll. And if you use the medium one, you're going to be plus two now. Plus three, plus two. Uh, the heavy one is plus six. And the EX one is plus, almost plus 20. And the good thing is that you can now do this mid-screen. The EX is going to be plus six. And the heavy is still going to be plus two. So he becomes a threat everywhere on the screen. Now last chapter miscellaneous, here is that command normal again, a forward medium punch. Uh, this is 8 frame startup, you can combo into it after counter hit medium punch. The first hit is special cancelable, and if you let it play out, he's gonna be in throw range. So this button doesn't do a lot of damage, but it puts you into a strike throw mix up again. You also use it for the crush counters, you crush counter with stand heavy kick. Forward medium punch into the EX Eagle Spike and then the finisher of your choice. Uh, in the corner for crush counters, you can also not crush counter, right? Just do medium punch, heavy punch. And last but not least, this is uh, extra add on to his shiftiness, and that is his uh, V reversal. He has a side changing V reversal. Uh, it is minus 14 on block, so you can bait it. I hope this video found you well. I hope you liked it. Uh, hit it with a thumbs up and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.